Hey movie buffs, let's talk about the 1935 classic Becky Sharp. This film is known for mixing humor, shock, and sadness, promising an engaging ride. Wondering how it might have affected someone. Can you share a personal story about how this movie influenced your life? Or when did you first see it? As we uncover interesting facts, watch out for the funny, shocking, and touching moments that make this movie special. Now here's a question, what's your favorite memory or personal experience related to it? We'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. So, get ready to dive into the world of Becky Sharp, a film that has left its mark on many. Share your thoughts and let's reminisce together. Exciting tales await in the comments section. Stay tuned for more insights. In the 1935 film Becky Sharp, the lead actor, Miriam Hopkins, delivers an outstanding performance as the main character. Despite any previous doubts about her acting, she truly shines in this role. The whole cast does a great job, adding to a story that avoids too much drama, which was common in movies back then. The conversations feel real, and avoid using cliches that might take away from the experience. Her portrayal of the main character captures her ambitious, and sometimes unethical nature. She plays a person who wants to move up in society, even if it means using charm to do it. This depiction was quite bold for its time because of the rules in place, but it adds depth to the story that still holds up today. While some might say Hopkins's performance in another film, Barbary Coast, is better, her role as the main character in Becky Sharp is still memorable. The movie explores how the character uses manipulation and ambition, which resonates with audiences, making it a standout in film history. Overall, Becky Sharp tells an interesting story, brought to life by Hopkins's compelling acting and a supporting cast that also does a great job. The movie's exploration of ambition and manipulation ensures it remains relevant through the years, earning its place as a classic. In 1935, a movie came out that used a new way to show color called Three Strip Technicolor. But some people didn't like how the colors looked. They said the actors looked weird, like they had been boiled and covered in mayonnaise. Allison Skipworth did a good job playing Miss Crawley. She stayed seated the whole time, which added something interesting to her character. The main actress, Miriam Hopkins, got criticized because she was older than the character she played. She was 32, but the character was supposed to be in her 20s. Some people thought Fay Ray, who was 27, would have been a better choice. But the studio stuck with Miriam Hopkins because they thought her personality and public image were right for the part. They even gave her lessons to soften her southern accent. Overall, the movie made a big impact because it was one of the first to use Technicolor, even though some choices about the characters were questioned. It was a moment where storytelling and movie technology came together. A play named Becky Sharp debuted in New York City in Wedi 99 and had a successful run of 116 performances. Despite its early success, the play had three revivals, with the last one in 1929. Another production called Vanity Fair started in New York in 1911, but it had a different author. In the 1935 film version, a Broadway actress, Mrs. Leslie Carter, made an uncredited appearance as a woman. Interestingly, five years later, Miriam Hopkins portrayed Mrs. Z. Carter in a Warner Brothers film. The original director, Lowell Sherman, faced a setback when he passed away from double pneumonia in December 1934, shortly after filming began. Despite his declining health, Sherman remained committed to the project. Robin Mamoulian took over as director, choosing to discard Sherman's footage and start fresh. After Sherman's passing, Pauline Guerin, his wife at the time, assumed the role of Fifine in the film. Despite the challenges during production, the movie eventually came to fruition under Mamoulian's direction. In the 1935 movie Becky Sharp, despite its lavish period costumes, there is no credited costume designer. Frances D., sister of Margaret D., shares the screen with her in the film. Miriam Hopkins, known for her roles in significant films such as Trouble in Paradise, and the heiress also appears in Becky Sharp. The movie, along with these others, has been selected for preservation in the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress for its cultural and historical significance. These details add layers to the film's legacy and provide insight into the talent involved both on and off screen. Becky Sharp was a groundbreaking film that revolutionized filmmaking by being the first full-length feature to use the innovative three-strip Technicolor process. Before this, Technicolor had only been used in shorter films and segments. This process separated the film into three distinct color registers, each corresponding to a primary color, resulting in vibrant and lifelike colors throughout the entire movie. The decision to explore color filmmaking came after the success of the short film La Cucaracha in 1934. Following this, John Hay Whitney and C.V. 
Whitney established Pioneer Pictures with the goal of producing color films, and Becky Sharp was their first project. Finding the lead role faced some challenges. Miriam Hopkins was initially considered, but dropped due to salary disputes with RKO. This led to considerations of Myrna Loy and Claudette Colbert. Despite Arco's initial offer to Colbert, she declined due to dissatisfaction with the script. However, after negotiations, Colbert eventually accepted the role. In summary, the movie made cinematic history as the first feature film to fully utilize the three-strip Technicolor process, marking a significant milestone in filmmaking. Despite casting challenges, the production paved the way for future color films and showcased the potential of this revolutionary technology. In 1935 CV, Whitney invested $950,000 to bring the film to life, as reported by Variety. The expenditure reflected a significant commitment to the production of Becky Sharp. During a ballroom scene in the film, an uncredited Pat Nixon, then Patricia Ryan, marked her feature film debut. At that time, she was an occasional movie extra while pursuing her education at USC. Despite having a single spoken line in the film, it did not make the final cut. Notably, Pat Nixon would later become the First Lady of the United States from 1969 to 1974 as the wife of Richard Nixon. After its initial release, Becky Sharp underwent a twist of fate. In 1945, when film classics decided to re-release the movie, it was not considered significant enough to warrant reprinting in Technicolor. Instead, prints were struck in the more economical and inferior Cinecolor process. This became the only way audiences would see the film for the next four decades until the Technicolor restoration in the 1980s. The film's journey, marked by significant financial investment and an unexpected color change during its re-release, adds layers to the narrative of Becky Sharp. It serves as a reminder of the complexities and challenges faced by films even after their initial release. In the 1935 movie Becky Sharp, Billy Burke, despite being fourth billed, appears in just one scene, delivering only two lines of dialogue. Meanwhile, the star of the film, Miriam Hopkins, graces the screen throughout the entire 84-minute runtime. Interestingly, Robin Mamoulian, who took over direction following Lowell Sherman's sudden passing, initially praised Sherman's work. However, Mamoulian decided to reshoot the entire film, scrapping all of Sherman's footage. When asked if he had to remake the film, he replied, no, Lowell Sherman's work was so good that not a scene he filmed will be destroyed. These insights shed light on the behind-the-scenes dynamics and the meticulous approach taken to ensure the film's quality. Restoration of the film Becky Sharp took place in 1984 by the UCLA Film and Television Archive, overseen by archivist Robert Gitt. Robin Mamoulian attended the premiere of the restored print at the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences Theater in Beverly Hills. The restoration brought back the movie's original three-color look, comprising 64 minutes of three-color footage and 24 minutes of two-color footage of varying quality. The earliest telecast of the film occurred in 1944 on New York City's WMBT, followed by broadcasts in other cities like Los Angeles, Atlanta, Dayton, Detroit, and Philadelphia in subsequent years. These telecasts were in black and white. Before production, the film was referred to in some news items as Vanity Fair. In the world of movies, Becky Sharp holds a special place due to what happened with its copyright. Because the copyright wasn't renewed, the movie became free for anyone to use. This led to lots of copies being made, but many of them were edited badly and of low quality. In 1984, people at UCLA started fixing up Becky Sharp. They kept working on it, and in 2017, Paramount Archives made a high-quality version of the movie. They used the best parts of almost 50 reels of film, including the original color negatives and prints. Even though Becky Sharp had a tricky copyright history, you can now watch it for free on the Internet Archive. The restoration work has given the movie a new life, so now people can see it in a way that respects its importance in history. Overall, Becky Sharp's journey through copyright issues and restoration shows how important it is to preserve old films. Preview audiences found the sound in the movie unclear, prompting RKO to re-record the entire soundtrack using a different process. This delayed the release. The film, based on a play from Wendy 1899, which itself adapted a novel from Wendy 1848, had to overcome production hurdles, including a two-week delay due to Miriam Hopkins' hospitalization with pneumonia. Despite these challenges, the movie eventually made its way to the screen. Miriam Hopkins delivered her only Oscar-nominated performance in a film called Becky Sharp. The movie was recognized by the Library of Congress in 2019 for its cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance, earning a spot in the National Film Registry. 
In 2019, the Library of Congress honored Becky Sharp, a film featuring Miriam Hopkins, by adding it to the National Film Registry due to its importance culturally, historically, and aesthetically. Becky Sharp, the 1935 film featuring Miriam Hopkins, received acknowledgement from the Library of Congress in 2019, leading to its inclusion in the National Film Registry for its cultural, historical, and aesthetic value. Miriam Hopkins's performance in a 1935 film called Becky Sharp earned her an Oscar nomination, the only one in her career. The movie was recognized by the Library of Congress in 2019 and added to the National Film Registry for its significance. Miriam Hopkins earned an Oscar nomination for her role in Becky Sharp, a film recognized by the Library of Congress in 2019 for its cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance, securing its place in the National Film Registry. The movie featuring Miriam Hopkins, Becky Sharp, earned her an Oscar nomination, marking a standout moment in her career. Recognizing its importance, the Library of Congress added it to the National Film Registry in 2018. Miriam Hopkins' performance in the film Becky Sharp garnered her an Oscar nomination, the only one in her career. The Library of Congress recognized the film's significance in 2019, adding it to the National Film Registry. Miriam Hopkins' Oscar-nominated performance in Becky Sharp is notable in her career. The movie was acknowledged by the Library of Congress in 2019 for its cultural, historical, and aesthetic significance, earning a place in the National Film Registry. Miriam Hopkins earned her sole Oscar nomination for her performance in Becky Sharp. The movie was recognized by the Library of Congress in 2019, leading to its inclusion in the National Film Registry. In an unexpected turn, tragedy struck behind the scenes of the 1935 film Becky Sharp. During production, the actress portraying Becky Sharp, Miriam Hopkins, faced personal loss when her husband suddenly passed away. Despite her grief, Hopkins continued to fulfill her role, showing great professionalism and dedication to her craft. This sad event adds a somber layer to the movie's narrative, shedding light on the challenges faced by performers both on and off the screen. Directed by Robin Mamoulian, the 1935 adaptation of Becky Sharp remains a notable cinematic achievement. Mamoulian's innovative use of Technicolor brought vibrant colors to the screen, enhancing the visual experience for audiences of the time. The film marked a significant milestone in the history of cinema, demonstrating the possibilities of color in storytelling. Adapted from William Makepeace Thackeray's novel Vanity Fair, the movie follows the journey of Becky Sharp, a cunning and ambitious young woman determined to climb the social ladder. Portrayed by Miriam Hopkins, she navigates a world of intrigue, betrayal, and ambition with allure. Hopkins' portrayal captures Becky's complexity, showcasing her as a character driven by both ambition and vulnerability. Despite critical acclaim and technical achievements, the 1935 adaptation of Becky Sharp faced challenges upon its release. In the midst of the Great Depression, audiences were cautious about spending money on entertainment, affecting the film's box office performance. However, the film's impact endures as a demonstration of the artistry of its creators and the timeless appeal of Thackeray's tale. In conclusion, the 1935 adaptation of Becky Sharp stands as a landmark in cinematic history, blending tragedy, ambition, and visual splendor to create an unforgettable viewing experience.